Next question says, when you hear or, or when you say or hear the Prophet Sallallahu when you hear or say the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu name, do you say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or Alayhi Salatu Wasallam or peace be on you or either of them? Fine. And also, what should you do if you forget to say it and realize it later? We say that um, anything that proves that you're sending prayers and asking Allah Azza wa to extol these prayers and uh, salutations, safety, and blessings upon the Prophet Islam, his family members, and his companions, they're all fine by the name of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, La Bas. It's a very simple issue. Al Muhim is that you do it. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has explained to us the virtue of that. He says, anyone who sends one prayer upon me, Allah will give him ten of the likes. Uh, Abdullah ibn Umar عنهما, and others have narrated, as the collected by Imam Ahmed and Imam Tirmidhi and others, and Hafid bin Hajar rahimahullah, has a specific book on this hadith, in which he concludes that the hadith is fair, it's hasan. It's an acceptable hadith in which he says, Inna salah. He says, those who will be the closest to me and will have the most right to me on the day of judgment, are the ones who send the most prayers upon me. So therefore, um, sending prayers upon a Prophet is very important. It's very virtuous. And we all know what the Prophet Sallallahu has explained to us about the cheap one, the stingy miser. The one when my name is mentioned, he doesn't say so, Sallallahu Alaihi So therefore, it's a very, very uh, virtuous act. Um, and this is also, not to get off the topic, but it's also from the greatest fruits that you reap from studying hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi and busying yourself with the Prophet Alayhi narrations is that you want to say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam a hundred times in one page in an hour a hundred times and I can remember uh, some years back um, in the class of our Shaykh Shaykh Abdul Muhsin Hafidullah Ta'ala um, in which he finished um, if my memory serves me correctly I believe it was Sahih al Bukhari um, and they asked him uh, a few questions when he, you know, upon completion of the book which it took years to do, and it's a major feat. He's explained it before. And the Shaykh uh, Allah Ta'ala, he, he was asked, he says, how many times do you think you said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And I remember sitting there, and the Shaykh, he like, he stood back for a second. And he like, had to think about it, like, SubhanAllah, you know, years and years of teaching that book, how many good deeds did he rack up? Okay, subhanAllah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a very important concept for the Muslim not to take lightly. Sending prayers upon the Messenger of Allah, and from the best ways and easy ways of doing that is studying hadith, studying hadith of the Prophet. Wallahu alam.